Hey everyone, Krellopix here, and today I figured I'd get some more work done on this particular swatch of this Disney Alice in Wonderland diamond painting. Let's get into it. Okay. So, um, it's... It's going, um... It's been maybe 24 hours since I last worked on this, and uh, there doesn't really seem to be much popping at the moment, but it could be because it's not full. I don't know. Let's say that it doesn't have a popping issue. Let's be positive, right? Uh, this side, I feel like some have raised a little bit, but not much. So, yeah, it could be possible that this diamond painting is going to be all right. So... Let's not give up, shall we? Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Um, some people have suggested that I seal as I go. And I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should try that. But then I was like, I don't really uh, want to go through that. I would have to buy um, seal, like some sort of like Mod Podge or something like that liquid text or something to seal it and seal each as i go i don't know it, it's one that's not the effort that i want to put into it and two i don't want to go out and buy another project or sorry another product specifically for this project um it's i don't think it's worth it so i don't think i will be doing the seal as you go so i'm just going to hope that this works out all right I will keep trying to roll it and press down with some books and hope for the best. Yeah. So I think if I can complete maybe a couple more sections, I should really get a feel for whether or not this is going to pop or not. Prove me wrong, who can? Prove me wrong, please. I had been responding some, to some of your comments and um, some people have mentioned that They've ordered recently from Huacan, and they still have problems. But some people have not had problems from a recent order, so... Yeah. <laughs> and one comment, I was like, oh, that's promising for me, cool. And then the next person was like, no, nah, I had problems. I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> Back to, you know, that 50-50 chance that this isn't going to work out. But still, 50%, that's that's good odds, right? <laughs> we'll see. So I had um, unintentionally uh, watched a Sam Neill movie marathon. Sam Neill, the actor. Uh, I don't know if you guys know him or not, but I'm guessing he's in a lot of movies. But I watched a series of movies and they all happen to have him in it and it wasn't on purpose it's just i like those movies <laughs> so the first one i watched uh was sam neill and it was the first jurassic park and um i'm actually late uh, to the party on jurassic park i had never seen it and uh one of the theaters here had decided to screen it i guess it was an anniversary or something like that so I actually went to the cinema to see Jurassic Park. I was really, really excited about that. And it was good. I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I've seen some of the iconic scenes before that, you know. But I had never seen the movie in full. So it was a good experience. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, for screenings like that, the people that go are people that really are into it. So it was a good vibe in the whole place. So the second um, Sam Neill movie I watched was Event Horizon and I really like that movie although every time I watch I've, I've seen it many times and <laughs> every time I watch it I'm like what is this movie about <laughs> I forget I think the premise and I just watched it recently everyone but I quite often watch it as I'm doing something else I think and that's why I don't remember at least that's my story and I'm gonna stick to that <laughs> But um, I think it's about this spaceship that goes into a black hole and it comes back sentient and wants to kill people. I think. <laughs> I don't know. 
it's kind of enjoyable movie, oddly enough, even though I don't know what's going on. But um, yeah, I watched that recently, and that's got Sam Neill in it. And yeah, I enjoyed it as as much as I usually do, I guess. <laughs> but it was on Netflix, so I was like, okay, I'll watch it. Boop. Uh, and the last movie I watched um, is actually probably my favorite, most favorite movie that Sam Neill's in. And that is um, In the Mouth of Madness. And I really like cosmic horror. Oof, there's a whole row. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a whole row here of popping drills. Oy, oy. Uh, let me roll it right quick. See if that helps even things out. And anyways, uh, in the mouth of madness, I forgot what color I'm working on. It's uh, a cosmic horror, and oh yeah, I said I liked uh, cosmic horror because I like uh, H.P. Lovecraft and his Cthulhu mythos and all of that. And that's what uh, in the mouth of madness is pretty much. It's kind of like a unofficial H.P. Lovecraft movie. And yeah, I really, really like that movie. But yeah, of course, Sam Neill is in it. <laughs> and yeah, so that was my Sam Neill marathon. Have you guys seen any of those movies or any other Sam Neill movies that you can recommend? I can't say I really like the guy as an actor. He's okay. Um, I just happen to watch movies with him in it. It's not like I specifically want to see him, so... I don't know, but I'm, I'm open to new movies and such. So if you have any recommendations or let me know if you've seen any of the movies that I've seen, let me know and how you enjoyed them. Oh boy, all this confetti. I forget that I'm working with such a confetti piece and that I can actually just pick out of the box and I should probably do that but sometimes i can't tell if it's worthwhile like if there's only one piece like one space for that color or not and whether it's worth pouring into the tray i guess because i'm working on a bigger area i don't know it's hard to see <laughs> i don't know i'm just babbling at this point i think But yeah, more about movies. I've been watching um, a lot lately on Netflix. I have been watching uh, Power Rangers. I have, uh, I'm on the fifth iteration of Power Rangers. So it's a uh, light speed rescue. And this series is horrible. It's so bad. And I'm glad it's only one season because I'm like, ugh, can I even get through this? Um... I can barely get through this. There's 45 episodes in this season, and I'm only on 25, I think. I don't know. It's horrible. But I was like, I gotta plow through it just in case, you know, future seasons refer to it. So, and then I'm like, maybe it'll get better towards the end. Maybe the writing will get better. Yeah. All right. Always positive, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's so bizarre usually um power rangers have like some sort of mystical uh force that allows them to transform into power rangers this one no it's all man-made and their rescue like fire rescue and water rescue and such air rescue yeah i'm not sure what angle they were trying to go with here but <laughs> it's a very meh Meh, Power Rangers. But the next one is Time Force. I can't wait. I hear that one was a good uh, season, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, Baby likes uh, the Power Rangers intros. <laughs> when it comes on, she gets really excited. Normally on Netflix, I skip the intros after the first couple of episodes that I watch. Because, you know, you don't have to watch it every time. But Baby really enjoys it, so I just let it play. And besides, with Power Rangers, it's only like 
a minute. So it's pretty short. That's okay. They quite often have catchy uh, theme songs. So I understand why Baby likes it. I did watch Tiger King ages ago when it came out. Um, but the reason why I bring it up now is because I read not too long ago that they're doing another series on it. <laughs> and Nicolas Cage is slated to be um, Joe Exotic. That's, I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I don't know what to make of it. It's, I feel like you do need a crazy actor to play that role. I, I, I would at least watch the first episode and see how it is, but <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be ridiculous, but fun, you know, so I don't know. I'll check out the first one, but it might not, I think, I think it's going to be on free to air, so I'm not too sure if I'll be able to see it when it comes out. I don't think it'll be on Netflix. Are there any new shows coming out that you guys can recommend? I am watching a lot of Netflix these days. And what else did I watch? I finally watched the third Mummy movie. Because I'd only ever seen the first two. The third one just never seemed interesting to me. And I couldn't get into it. And I was like, what does China have to do with Egyptian mummies? And I was like... <laughs> Uh, okay. But I finally watched it, and yeah. Yeah. It was alright, I guess. Not really. <laughs> I guess. It had, some, it had a lot of really cool um, actors from Hong Kong in it, and it had Jet Li in it. And that was cool and all, but um, yeah. They should have stopped at the second one, really. That was a money, that was a cash grab. That's what that movie was. It was a definite cash grab. Replace some of these over here. Oh, and I do have um, kind of a guilty pleasure show that I watch. I have a few of them, but the one that I've been watching recently, and I'm like, man, maybe I shouldn't even tell you guys. <laughs> but I've been watching Paternity Court on YouTube. It's such a re it's kind of a ridiculous show. Um, it's kind of extreme the way people are on that show. It's it's a lot like the Judge Judy shows, except it's you know who's the father. And I guess I get a kick out of these because sometimes the drama gets really intense in there. It's just it's just it's a very ridiculous it's a ridiculous show for me, and but I I watch it. I love watching it, and the judge is awesome sometimes she just you know lets the attitude come out and tries to set people straight she's like uh uh girl you need to listen up and she's got this line what is it uh mama's baby papa's maybe <laughs> that line comes out a lot and it's just i don't know it's just really funny i think she really has got a a good thing going there and I'm not sure how, how real it is, or how scripted it is, you know, a lot of these shows are scripted, or prompted is what I say, so there's, you know, a, quite a bit of ad-libbing in there, or see what happens kind of thing, but people are definitely prompted to go in a certain direction, I feel, on these reality shows. Like, I don't watch Big Brother, but I do watch, uh, I did watch uh, Jersey Shore. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know, but I just couldn't help myself. I liked seeing the drama on TV. I don't like drama in my real life, but watching it on TV, yeah, I think it's hilarious. So keep the drama on TV. That's how I do it. <laughs> so I try to do it. Okay. Finishing up this color. I still haven't found my light pad yet, but I shall keep searching. I have a bit more free time 
tomorrow to do some, so hopefully I can get it done then. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna roll it and put my heavy stuff on it as usual, but yes, thank you all so much for coming along with me. Let's see how this piece turns out. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you too can see whether, you know, these jewels pop and I have to trash this or it becomes a miraculous save and this comes out to be a phenomenal diamond painting piece. Alright, thank you so much everyone again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!